Welcome back to Everyday Woman. Guess who's back? Chef Shelly, the, the chef to the everyday woman. And now, I know these are not chicken tenders <laughs> for my kids because this is a Bloody Mary inspired chicken tender. And I know Bloody Mary has a little bit of vodka, right. a little <laughs> tomato juice, Tabasco, harsh radish, Richardson, salt and pepper, if you wish. Right, so you're probably wondering what's going on. So right? I can't give this to my kids, right? No, I wouldn't suggest that. Okay, <laughs> all right. So tell me, why did you come up with a, um, this type of... Well, Frozen. we always want to know the cure for the hangover. Okay. Okay, and usually the main thing that they always refer to is the Bloody Mary. Okay. Yes, they it do. It has something in it that's supposed to help cure the Bloody Mary, uh, the, the, uh, hangover. Sorry, the hangover. Mm -hmm. So you have the vodka, so they say if you keep drinking, mm -hmm. then you know, your hangover goes away. Well, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but we're going to try to put it together today. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do a... Uh, a Bloody Mary inspired dish is chicken fingers. And uh, what now, do you know the ingredients for a Bloody Mary? Yes, vodka, um, tomato juice, um, some Tabasco, Worcestershire, horseradish, salt, pepper, if you like. Yes, so mm -hmm. one of the ingredients you said was Worcestershire. So instead of using Worcestershire, I'm going to use a little A1 sauce. Really? Okay, yeah, because it has a little bit of extra wine in it. It kind of gives it a little Oh my God, to girl, it. So you're trying to get these people. Uh, <laughs> this is just, not a. <laughs> Don't don't ever stop being drunk, and then that way you. Don't I know this is hangover. not a cure for a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> so we already have some, you know, already pre-purchased um, chicken fingers mm -hmm. you can buy in the store in a okay. bag in the freezer section. Okay. So we're gonna put this in our bowl here, and mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're gonna baste it. Mm -hmm. So we have our celery. Okay, and what I did is I just chopped up the celery a little bit and it just kind of give it a little flavor because celery okay. is very potent. Okay. So um, it has a lot of flavor too. We're not gonna use celery seed or anything okay. like that. I just like fresh celery. Got it. Um, we're gonna add a little salt. Okay. Okay. A little bit of pepper. And wait till you see this. We're gonna open our V8, which okay. is our tomato juice. Okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and saturate those. So marinating a little V8. That's right. I wish I had had a V8. No, what's great about it has <laughs> okay. the breading on it. So okay. the breading is gonna soak, soak it in. in. That yes, absolutely. And we're gonna use a little bit of our favorite, mm -hmm. vodka. So. I just don't understand how this is for a hangover. What? I understand how you to cure, you know, kill two uh, birds with one stone. You know, I have the munchies and right. and well, I have a you, drink, but it's supposed to suck soak up the stomach acid that's in your stomach from the alcohol. Okay. And then apparently if you have the alcohol in your system, it kind of keeps everything going. Okay. But I don't know if that's So you're going to cook this? Yeah, we're going to add let's go ahead and add this A1 sauce here. Okay. And the one great thing about um, also one of the hangover things is having a little spice to it. Okay. So we're going to add, add a little Cholula. Yeah, a little Cholula. A little Cholula, okay. We can also use Tabasco sauce or any other your favorite mm. hot sauces, but I, I like to use Cholula. I like Cholula. I don't like Tabasco. It has that vinegar taste to it. So we're just going to go ahead and toss it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Put a little bit of oil in our pan here. So this is really simple. Real another quick, simple. fun appetizer, quick snack for, quick you know. Quick snack. This would be has, great for like a Super Bowl or something, alcohol. you know? Right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, perfect. It's almost kind of like a uh, hot wing, kind of sort of. Oh, it is, actually. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Okay. It may give me a reason to try um, chicken tenders. Right. Okay. It's a little different. It, it, it already has your sauce on mm -hmm. it. You know, um, you can also keep the sauce and make a separate sauce and, and dip it in there if you don't want to actually yeah, taste it. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, you know, so it's kind of like your Bloody Mary sauce. Okay. Now, is this something you came up with? I did, you know, because I love Bloody Marys. I, I love how you come up with these simple but fun but it's easy fun. recipes. It is. It's a lot of fun. You know, you just want to do something different to something that you're used to eating all the time. Okay. Chicken fingers. I mean, where do you eat chicken fingers from everywhere? Right? I know. And so, it's not that expensive. This is, these are ingredients you already have in your home. Yeah, absolutely. So if you already have chicken fingers mm -hmm. in your freezer, you just pull them out. Throw some vodka and some Wow, I have to tell you. Here you go, you've got Bloody Mary chicken fingers. <laughs> okay, I like it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this on the plate here. Now, how long does it take to, take to cook? Uh, if they're frozen, mm -hmm. probably about 10 minutes. Okay. But since these are already thawed out, this mm -hmm. is only about three minutes. Really? Yeah, about three minutes, just so you can get a little brown on it. And then we'll put it here on the plate here. Oh, my God, this is so and perfect. And then I like extra spicy lime. Mm -hmm. So I put just a tad bit of... Horseradish? Horseradish sauce. This is okay. my horseradish sauce that I made. Your recipe. Yeah. She's not sharing, people. Actually, you know what? I can't even take credit for it. Actually, my fiance gave me this recipe, but it has I love horseradish. Men who cook. Oh, yeah, don't you? Oh, such a, I can it's just watch. It's so much easier. Oh, my God. I can sit back and just watch TV while he cooks. It has a little mayo in it, mm -hmm. and a little ponzu and sesame. So it okay. kind of has a little Asian flair to it. So it's definitely spicy. You got your spicy, you've got your vodka, you've got your. Mm -hmm. V8 juice to keep things straight and got the hangover go. working, girl. Hangover going on. You know, I don't know if I believe you, 
<laughs> but this is a great dish, and I'm really happy. Thank you for sharing it with uh, Everyway Woman. If yes. you want more information on Chef Shelly and these fabulous recipe, go to chefshelly.yolasite.com. We'll be right back. Thank you so Thank much. You. you always have the best.